What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name's Kristen and I'm super stoked you're watching today because I'm going to show you everything that is in my zero waste kit. This is something that I bring with me pretty much everywhere I go. I try to bring it with me even if I don't know where I'm going to be throughout the day. It's just really nice to have these things on hand so you don't create waste that is unnecessary. And a lot of this stuff is really easy to get. A lot of this stuff you might already have. So hopefully this inspires you to put together your own little zero waste kit because reducing waste is hella important. It always has been, but recently people are realizing how much waste humans are creating and we're literally destroying our environment. So having your own zero waste kit on hand and having the things that I'm going to show you on hand can just be so helpful so you don't have to create extra waste. So let's just get right into the video so you can see what's in my zero waste kit. Okay, so the first thing that's in my zero waste kit isn't really something that goes in the actual kit itself, but I bring it with me pretty much everywhere I go. And that is a reusable water bottle. Mine is a hydro flask. The water stays cold for so long. I absolutely love it. I have this little like straw lid on top so it makes it really easy to drink this is what i drink out of at home and if i'm leaving to go anywhere i just fill it up and then i have water and i don't have to use like a plastic cup or whatever they have wherever you're going i try to just use my water bottle and then you typically drink more water throughout the day as well which is always a plus okay so now on to the actual zero waste kit okay so the first thing in my zero waste kit is a reusable tote bag that's kind of what i keep everything in and i just found one in my drawer that i had on hand i didn't go buy this but if you don't have one then maybe you can ask a friend or you can probably thrift one these are kind of everywhere try to get a cloth one try not to get one with plastic that way it isn't so shitty for the environment and yeah mine's not huge but it fits everything that i that i need in there and so that's that's my like number one in my zero waste kit is this reusable cloth tote bag. Okay, so what's in this bag? So I always like to have some reusable utensils on hand. That way, if you're going somewhere and they only have plastic utensils, you have some that you can use. So this one's nice and handy. It comes with a little pouch. It has like a carabiner if you want to clip it to something. And it just has a nice little like Velcro fastener. And inside I've got some bamboo utensils. So I have a knife, a fork, and a spoon. And then this is also where I keep my reusable straw. It's a stainless steel straw, so it doesn't break. If it were glass, I feel like it would break in my little tote bag. And I'll leave a link for this exact one that I bought, but I feel like this is something that you don't need to buy. Most people have extra silverware laying around their house. So this is something that I probably didn't need to buy because I have lots of forks and knives and spoons and I could have just tossed those in. But these are really lightweight and they're really good for flying on the plane or taking with you if you're going on a road trip. So I actually use these quite a bit. And the reusable straw, again, probably isn't super necessary, but I like having mine on hand. So if I get lemon water or if I get a cocktail or something, I can kind of use this to break up the lemon or the lime or whatever in my water. Or if I'm going somewhere and getting a coffee or a smoothie, then I have a reusable straw so I don't have to use theirs. Okay, next thing is a pair of chopsticks. These are wooden chopsticks or bamboo, probably. They're probably bamboo. And I got these at a thrift store. There's just like a bundle of chopsticks, so I grabbed them. So if people come over, they've got some to use. I just like to keep these on hand in case we go somewhere where you want to use chopsticks, but you don't want to use the reusable ones that they give you. So always have these on hand. Next in my kit is a reusable cloth napkin. My mom actually gifted these to us, but you can find these at thrift stores. You might already have some on hand, or you could ask a friend if they have an extra one. And I just really like having this so I don't have to use their paper napkins, which happens a lot if you go to places, even like a decent restaurant sometimes will give you like a paper napkin. So have this on hand and you won't have to use that. And another little trick if you don't have the bamboo utensils and you want to use the ones that you already have at home is you know you can just wrap the silverware up in here and boom little silverware to go kit so you don't have to go buy the bamboo utensils unless you want to and you can just wrap them up in here and then you have your own little like silverware setup whenever you need it another thing that i like to use my reusable cloth napkin for is if i go somewhere i'm getting like a cookie or a muffin vegan of course and then i can use this instead of the little like waxy paper that they'll normally put it in i'll just say hey can you set it in here and that way i'm not using what they have on hand and i'm just reusing what i have okay the next thing that i carry around with me pretty much always if i'm going anywhere is this reusable mug this is the yeti brand it's amazing it keeps your cold stuff cold for so long and it keeps your hot drinks hot for 
so long like this is amazing I just recently got this before I just had kind of like a cheaper one but this is amazing so if you're looking for a really good quality reusable coffee mug then I would highly recommend trying one of these out of course there's gonna be brands that aren't quite as expensive but this one's really really nice because I just don't really like when my smoothie gets warm and I don't really like when my coffee either iced coffee gets like all melty or the hot coffee gets like lukewarm too quick so I'm kind of picky about that but for me this works perfectly and another good thing about this is that with my reusable straw that I have this is perfect so if I get an iced coffee or a smoothie or anything like that this fits perfectly in there and then I've got my little to-go iced coffee or smoothie or whatever you wanna put in there. So you don't have to use their plastic cups or whatever they typically serve their drinks in. You just have this, it's 16 ounce. I've never had a problem of someone being like, you can't use that here. I've heard that some places do say that for like sanitary reasons, but then I would just probably go somewhere else that lets me use this. So I love this. This again, isn't super necessary. If you have a glass jar, like a glass mason jar, you can totally use that too. When you're building your zero waste kit, it's really best to try to use stuff that you already have on hand. Otherwise, again, you're adding to the waste that you're trying not to create. But this is one thing that I absolutely love. But if you don't feel like you need this, feel free to use like a mason jar. Sustainable Sabs is amazing. If you don't follow her Instagram, she just started a YouTube channel as well. Go follow, go subscribe. She's awesome. She doesn't use one of these. She just uses a mason jar and she has rubber bands that she either got from produce at the farmer's market or, you know, sometimes you can't avoid rubber bands on your produce. And she'll just wrap it in rubber bands. So if she has a hot drink, she doesn't get burned and that's all she uses. But I love this thing so much and it just makes me excited to not use whatever they're using and for me this is just worth it. Okay and the last thing in my zero waste kit is a reusable Tupperware. I used to carry around a glass one with a plastic lid but I'm so terrified of that breaking and cutting me or whatever so I started carrying a plastic one and I'll usually have like snacks in here like I'll have some almonds and some dates or some grapes that way if I get hungry I have something that's already packaged in my little reusable package and I don't have to buy something out and it's really awesome if you're somewhere and you have leftovers and you don't want to use their like styrofoam or whatever they use for leftovers because usually that stuff is not recyclable the paper ones usually look like they are but they have that waxy coating in the inside which means they're not recyclable same with coffee cups I think a lot of people think those are recyclable like the to-go ones because they're paper but that waxy coating on the inside makes it so that you can't recycle it so if you're going somewhere and you're gonna have coffee try to get it for there or again, bring a mug or a jar or whatever you have so you don't have to create extra waste. But I really, really like having this on hand. It's perfect for leftovers. I didn't buy this. This is just something that I had at home. So I tossed that in there. But something that I did just order yesterday because this is just a little bit bulky and with the coffee mug and everything like that, I just felt like I was carrying around a ton of stuff, which is totally fine. But I did just order some reusable silicone bags so I can use those instead of Ziplocs at home. And and I can bring one with me in my zero waste kit for leftovers, bring snacks in it. So they're a little bit thinner and I'll link all of the stuff down in the description. So if you wanna see what I have and maybe check it out, you can. And it's it'll just be thinner and it'll be easier to carry around. So I am probably gonna switch that out as soon as they get here, but it's totally not necessary. You can use whatever you have on hand, just like I use this. This is totally fine for whatever you wanna use. Again, you can put leftovers, bring snacks, and and just really, really handy to have one of these for lots of reasons. I find that I use this a decent amount. So I'm excited to get the silicone bag so I can swap that out and make my zero waste kit a little bit slimmer. But again, totally not necessary. The best thing to do really is to use stuff that you have on hand. Again, you can ask a friend if they might have any extra. There might be a zero waste group in your area, like a Facebook group or an Instagram page, and you can maybe DM someone or you can ask in the Facebook group or you can thrift it. I love thrifting. I love yard sailing. Pretty much buy all of my clothes at thrift stores, including this top. All of my clothes, except for a couple pairs of pants, are pretty much from thrift stores unless they were gifted like at Christmas time or whatever. So I really, really highly encourage using what you have on hand, or if it feels like you're gonna use it more often and be excited about it, feel free to purchase it. Feel free to do whatever feels best for you. I just wanted to share this video so you guys could see what was in my zero waste kit. Again, hopefully inspire you to create one of your own, bring it around with you. I know it's just one person and it doesn't feel like it makes a difference, but it totally does. And something that's really cool is when I'm out and about and using this stuff, especially like the napkin or the Tupperware, people will tend to ask, they're curious, like, hey, 
that's okay to do here? And it's like, yeah, I, I'm trying not to create waste. And a lot of people will be interested and be like, I'm going to start doing that. So it could be really inspiring for other people to see you carrying this around. And then when you have your little reusable tote, you can use this, you know, if you buy groceries or if you are thrifting and you see a shirt you really like. So this is kind of dual purpose to carry your stuff in, but then you can also toss extra stuff in here too. That's why I kind of like it a little bit bigger. So hopefully this has inspired you to put together your own little zero waste kit. Anything that we can do to help the environment makes such a big difference because our environment's going to shit, you guys, and humans are responsible and it's really, really sad and now is the time I mean always has been the time but now is the time to do something about it to spread the word to be an activist and to do something just good for the environment it feels good and you know you're making a difference so highly encourage you to create a little zero waste kit it doesn't take much that's all that's in mine and it makes a huge difference so I hope this video was inspiring for you guys if you have any questions drop them down below I would love to know what's in your zero waste kit so comment down below and let me know what you have in your zero waste kit maybe we'll inspire some people or maybe you'll inspire me to add something or take something away and yeah I just love chatting with you guys in the comments so leave me a comment and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up up. It lets me know that you like videos like this. And if you have any suggestions for a video, let me know as well. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And if you'd like to, I make lots of videos about veganism and eco-conscious living, and I post some healthy recipe ideas on my channel. So again, subscribe if you're interested, and I'll just catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.